was worried. Warm it up, Chris, warm it up. Uh, it, so in today's video, what we're working on is new behaviors. So we've transitioned out of uh, identity. We've transitioned out of the understanding that there's a value for avoiding and then into the creative act of our life. And, and as that transition occurs, the person in recovery is up against themselves. And that construct being up against myself is damn difficult to, to get. We talked about identity, aspects of identity. Uh, uh, am I male? Am, my job, I'm a lawyer or a doctor, I, I'm, I'm successful, oh, I'm a failure, oh, I'm, I'm a heroin addict, I'm, I'm bad, I'm, I shame myself. These are all aspects of identity. I found a clip that's on the blog. But ego is the worst confidence trickster we could ever figure, we could ever imagine, because you don't see it. And the single biggest con is I am you. The problem is that the ego hides in the last place that you'd ever look within itself. It disguises its thoughts as your thoughts, its feelings as your feelings. It, you, you think it's you. People's need to protect their own egos knows no bounds. They will lie, cheat, steal, kill, do whatever it takes to maintain what we call ego boundaries. People have no clue that they're in prison they don't know that there is an ego they don't know the distinction at first it's difficult for the mind to accept that there's some something beyond itself that there's something uh, of, of greater value and greater capacity for discerning truth than itself in religion the ego manifests as the devil and of course no one realizes how smart the ego is because it created the devil so you could blame someone else in creating uh, this imaginary external enemy, we usually usually made a, a real enemy for ourselves, and that becomes a real danger to the ego, but that's also the ego's creation. There is no such thing as an external enemy, no matter what that voice in your head is telling you. All perception of an enemy is a projection of the ego as the enemy. In that sense, you could say that 100% of our external enemies are of our own creation. Your greatest enemy is your own inner perception is your own ignorance is your own ego Woo! good shit that this is what we're talking about this is the essence of of, of what 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 occurs for the, for the person as they transition out of avoiding uh people places things thoughts feelings and actions to to drive sobriety you know and yet i don't know how many times i need to say it, but it's very necessary in the beginning of recovery to establish routine and to develop systems that empower you to build the foundation of your sobriety. However, if that's where you stay stuck, and this is what you've been talking, this is your experience, this is what you're bringing to the table, then you spend seven years, you know, depressed with the possibility of throwing a suicide date on your calendar. Yeah. And you're not the only one. You know, every person we meet um, is sharing the same story. And in no way, um, and I think it's a real shame, real travesty that, that there's no permission to talk about this in traditional recovery. 